In the month of October, we continue to work through the Fletcher House building, uh, level three and four spandrels project now complete, uh, level four facade complete, and actually started the level five facade replacement. Um, in the landscaping areas, we got into the terrace area, we planted some trees, a bit of shrubbery. Uh, we started moving in through the, the car park through Jack Smith House, digging the foundations, pouring the pads, new curb lines, creating new levels throughout, uh, and also along the uh, Great South Road as well. Through the pavilion, we continued with the good work we, uh, we started last month. Um, we've continued with the walls, the linings, ceilings going up. There's two months to go and a lot to happen in that time. It's looking good and it's all where it needs to be but any little thing can go wrong now. Um, and if it does go wrong, it's a disaster. So anxiety levels are high, making sure that everything is there and it doesn't go wrong. Um, but just one small thing at the moment can be um, a real big impact on the project. Everyone's well aware of that. Uh, we've actually brought on a couple of new members to the team to ensure just their oversight and they're doing a great job putting the team well. So throughout October, we've been trying to finalise the external envelope. So that's been finishing off the roof. Uh, that's the external facade has been going on and getting the water tight throughout the building. And that's allowed us to come through with the finishes. As you see through the building now, we've um, looked very really well progressed with the jib and the stopping. And we're coming through now with the paint. Floor tiling throughout the building has come through. So the floor tile is really well progressed at the moment. The main focus for last month has been trying to get all the partitioning framed and linings on. The big driver for that is uh, measuring the veneer panels and the finishing lines that, so we can sort of finish the project as we go. Between grid lines A and D and Fitcher House, we're looking at something that's looking really, really good. Uh, paint going on the walls, mosaic tiles going on the walls. Um, it's looking awesome. Uh, moving up to the front half of the building, we're in full-fledged construction mode still. Uh, the, the walls are going up, jib going on, stopping, ceiling tiles, floor tiles. It's all going on everywhere. So it's been a, a really big month now, and it's a pretty crazy and awesome place to be around at the moment. The things that I feel have gone well for us in October is the sequencing of our jobs. We've started doing our pre-start meetings in the afternoon, so that's the pre-start the following day. And in that we've been able to uh, coordinate our, our work so we feel that's worked very well for us in the last month. We've really managed to progress with the floor tiling. The floor tiling is key to getting the veneer wall panels and the fabric panels measured for the project. Uh, the way we've managed to progress the tiling is we've had a team going through doing the main tiles and then we've had another team going through doing the cut tiles which takes longer time to do. Okay, last month what went really well for us was the fact that Foreman's got through as much work as what they have. They've stepped up their labour resource on site uh, we've got the guys putting up walls, jibbing, stopping, putting in ceilings, installing doors. Uh, they've got massive amounts of guys on site and they're really doing a good job. Uh, Italian Stone doing a great job with the flooring. They've got the tiles going down and they really are getting through with an impressive speed. Um, we've got finishing trades coming on now as well, which is good to see. It's uh, very pleasing to see the finishing coming on because you spend so much time with services that just look quite bland and don't make sense. So when they all come together and the finishes come together, you know, for a lot of the guys there, it is quite inspirational that the work they've done has come to where it is. Every day we're engaging with our subcontractors on an afternoon basis. We'll have a daily coordination meeting, and that's enables us to build a good relationship with our subcontractors. They understand what the health and safety drivers are, but also what we need to do on a day-by-day -day basis. So we're looking really at the details, what needs to be done every single day, and that's really pushed us forwards. The challenges of last month was coordinating all of the various trades. Uh, we've got the flooring going down now, which is great to see, but really inhibits a lot of work. Uh, you've got the floor going down and the ceiling going on above it. So it's coordinating those trades, plus you've got the services coming through trying to fit out. So it's making sure that every single day we're having robust meetings, planning up the next day ahead, so everyone knows what's going on. Next month, we'll be looking at continuing and finishing off the last of the ceilings, the walls, the jib fixing, the stopping. And what that does, that means that our finishing trays come through. So we're looking at tiling, we're looking at painting, continuing with flooring, all the different kind of floor finishes. We're also looking at putting in internal partitioning, glass, uh, aluminium. So all the finishes are coming in now. So because of that, you need to make sure that all your big trades are out of there, all your big dirty trades. So it's going to start really taking shape. It looks quite effective, all the different finishes coming together that the architects have chosen. Um, we've got all the different features products on, on show. We've got the Foreman's products, we've got the Laminex products, we've got the Firth products. It's all looking really good, so the, uh, the, the dream, the vision's all coming to light. <laughs>